Oh my God, I'm scared. What's going on, y'all? Gonzo's Convo, Season 6. We're on the next episode. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, y'all. I'm Saya. That's my Instagram. Can they see that? Yeah, they can see Yeah. Okay. Yeah, follow me on the Saya official. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, too. Hi, my name's Allie. Oh, yeah. So what, what do you guys do? I am a program director at a gymnastics gym. Um, I'm going to go in a quiet place. <laughs> but part time, I wash hair at a barbershop. So I'm a shampoo girl. And I also work at the airport. Kills as a beauty advisor, sales associate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So have y'all ever done a podcast before? I I, yeah, I did one. It was like after a photo shoot. Where did you did you enjoy that type of environment? Or was it kind of like? Yeah, it was definitely cool was for me. I'm not really shy, so I can. I got you. In that type of thing. Yeah, I got you. So the thing is, mine is different, obviously, because it's virtual and all that type of stuff. So what? Just to throw that question out there, what made y'all want to be a part of this? Be on a virtual podcast. To be honest, it was just, you know, the opportunity and I'm like, oh, he seems cool. And it's like, it will be my first one that I've done. So it's like yeah. the first time for everything. Well, I appreciate, I appreciate that. And you said the same thing? Yeah. And I like to talk. So and the like, topic. The topic yeah, is the like real good. interesting. Is it actually? Because I, I feel like it is. To say. I feel like, because I like the topic too, but I feel like everyone's on the same page when they're talking about this generation specifically. So I'm going to ask this, right? Like, what do you guys think of this generation? Just first and foremost. Okay. But pertaining to what? Like with relationships or just us in general? Let's start with us in general. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's start with us in general. I feel like... Hmm. I feel like we definitely did look up to social media too much. Like we have too many expectations that we set for ourselves or even have for others. Okay. Um, I can you know, like everybody has to be rich at this point or you're like dirty or nothing. You know, they treat you like a scum of the earth. Yeah. It seems like, like a- people are faking it. That is true. <laughs> there are a lot of people on social media. I've faces. seen, okay? Like, I have seen. How you got Balenciagas and your beer got beer bugs? I don't <laughs> get that. I don't get it. It's because all that money is going to the Balenciaga. That's why. Probably. Yeah, no, I say the same. It's just very, it's just, a, I feel like everything's fake. Everything you see is like for social media. So mm. there's just a lot of false expectations in this mm-hmm. generation, like specifically. And even like with a, I feel like also with our generation, we're way too sensitive. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. It, we're way too sensitive. Like, everything is going to start a riot. Like, everything. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. here we go. go. Hey, go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm Jasmine, AKA Rose. Hell yeah. What, what do you do? What do I do? What do you mean, what do I do? Like, like work-wise, like. Um, I am a boring insurance agent. <clears throat> I do insurance, auto, and home, and life insurance. Right. Okay, I got you. So we just, <laughs> jumped, we just jumped right into the topic of this generation. They already gave their input. So what what is what are your thoughts on this generation? So like in general. Oh. oh. Gee, I don't know. I'm in my 40s, girls. You guys are much younger than me. Um, you don't look at it at all. Oh, thank, you. all. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That This is the crazy part is that, uh, like, all my friends are way younger than me. So it's like. What? But, yeah. It's like, that's cool, though. Yeah. I don't mind this, gener- this generation don't bother me. You see, I'm I'm all up on it. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, all of it. Right. I, I was once a housewife. Yeah, he's in prison. He's in prison. 
Oh, dating in this generation is super weird, that's for sure. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Horrible. So, so they were just saying, they were talking about how social media impacts the generation a lot. We can all see that. But relationship-wise, how do you... We're gonna get on that. Well, how do y'all feel about relationships? Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, I feel like nobody wants that in like this generation at all. I kind of feel like as a as a generation, we're also picky because I know you can get somebody like her right there. What's her name? Let me see. I, I'm blind. I'm sorry. Me too. Allison. Allison. Yeah, yeah like. You could literally get somebody that's medium ugly and he will treat you like a fucking queen, but we're just so, you know, specific what we want. Looking back at like my past relationships, they were, they're, oh my God, all of them are ugly too. And they'd still fuck me over. So, like, I don't know. What kind of guys were these though? Like, just out of curiosity. In like what regard? Mine was a white boy that thought he was black. Yeah. Anyway, no, um, no, like race wise, yeah, like race wise, like, what did they do? Type deal, like, like oh, player. My problem is yeah. I like drug dealers. That's my problem. Shingo. Mm -hmm. oh, like uh, am I allowed to say this on there? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm under the I'm under the explicit category. You could do and say whatever yeah. you want. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Don't. Don't listen to listen, you guys. Don't go for the for for the for the mediocre drug dealers. Go for the ones that <laughs> the high end drug dealers. Yeah, the ones that know how to. Yeah, the ones that know, how to, the ones that know how to navigate. They're not like Just, stupid. Here's my question: Do they have to be six foot or taller? Yes, Does sir. They have to be what? <laughs> oh <my God>. Yes. <laughs> Y'all all answered at the same I need time. Somebody. I need somebody that can like really dominate me. I don't want to be thrown around. Okay, but let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How does height compare to domination? Like, cause you can get a, like a really short, strong dude, and he can really dominate your shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Then they have short man syndrome, and then they're mean to you. Yes, fine. Like, yeah. <laughs> they don't have to be mean to you. Just mean to other dudes. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. Men are liars. I tried it. I'm not yeah. Kidding. Short men are liars. Yes, yeah. they're liars. Damn, I guess I'm a liar. I can't really see the lie like that, so it's like. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm five six. Am I a liar then? No. No. I don't know. You said short men are liars, though. I wouldn't say all of them. You know what? Man. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna say you are. Just based Word. off those those height calculations. Yes. Well, I appreciate that. I guess I'll be the only short dude that's not a liar, I guess. But um, my thing is, like, what is, what is the whole hype around the height thing? Like, I want to understand that more. Like, why is six foot and tall? It just, I don't know. For me personally, like, I like feeling like, I don't know, like, they're tall, dominant, like she said. Like, protected <laughs> in a way. I like to feel small. But, I mean, all my exes have been, like, 5'4", so. What? Word. So she she done tangled with the, with the short kings. Okay. It just happened that way. I don't know. <laughs> were they all like bad or were there some that were like, you know, they, they were okay. There was like one that was like, okay. <laughs> the rest. Yeah. See, we're not all bad. We're not all bad. What about the rest of you guys? I'm five two, so I'm okay with. <clears throat> I'm and, I don't... Are you? and I don't wear heels anymore. So I'm five three, you basically don't. So five That's a great three. excuse not to wear heels. So what do we? What do heels really add though? Like what? Like two inches or so? No, no like three to four. Mine five. make you like five eight. Yeah. They make you five eight. Yeah, my heels will make you five eight. Mine I like to tall. be up there. Mine make me like six foot. Like I'm tall. I'm very tall. That's not that, that's not bad though. That's like he has a short dude. Like see, here's what's funny, right? Like in this generation, it seems like like I said, females like the taller guy, cool. But it's like for us dudes, right? It don't matter how tall or short we are. We just like beautiful women that obviously have a good personality. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of where we go with it. So it's kind of interesting how that works. Like females look at like what the dude has as far as like physicalities versus a dude is just more into the, I don't know, the look and the personality. That's it. 
since his. Mean. Not the men I've been no. talking with. They're very, I don't know. I feel like they have their opinions. What yeah. happened to, uh, what's your name? What did you guys say? I kind of missed it. I don't know what's your name went black screen. I think something happened on her that connection. Was somebody was trying to FaceTime me, and I don't even know who it is. <laughs> oh, How do you FaceTime someone and they don't have the the not? I don't know who that was. It was creepy. I'm good. I don't answer <laughs> if I don't know who it is. I don't answer it. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't answer that. But anyway, um, what 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 was it I was saying? I forgot. That men look for. Right, that men. All right, so so men. It seems like we look for the overall look of the woman, like if she looks good in the face and stuff like that, in the body. And then we look for the personality versus women just look for like the height. I feel like sometimes a zodiac sign plays a part, you know, stuff like that. So it's a little bit different. Oh yeah, zodiac signs do play a part. It really does. <laughs> why? Why do, they, why do they play a part? Virgo, you gotta go. Like, You're a Virgo? I'm not a Virgo. You a Virgo? No, nah, I'm not a Virgo. Are you a Leo? What are you? I'm an Aquaman, Aquarius. I'm Aquarius oh, too. I can feel that off of y'all. I'm a Libra, so. What does that mean? Look, I want to understand zodiac signs more. So, like, what does that mean? Where it's like I can feel the zodiac signs. Aquarius are good like, people. We're good people. Oh, here we go. I'm not gonna speak much. Oh, we is full today. Oh, y'all wasn't hearing me talking before? I no. Oh, nah, my fault. <laughs> I've been Cam, here for a up? minute, too. <laughs> 11 minutes. Cam. I can hear Yo. nothing y'all saying. I ain't going to lie. Ooh. Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? We yeah. Can hear you. Yeah. We can see you, too. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> He'll be back. Anyway, so the ones that just came in are the yeah, MSD books. What do you think about this generation, relationship wise and in general? Okay, so I was chiming in when y'all was talking about the age and everything. I mean, height and everything like that. As far as the height, I'm gonna be honest, I threw that out the window because I just got out of a seven year relationship and going into the dating scene in Miami has oh, been man. Girl, I'm right across from you. I, I live I live two hours from Wait, Miami. what's up with it? Is there not enough it's men? Foreign. It's foreign. It's just a horrible dating scene. It's it really horrible. is. So what, what makes it a horrible dating scene in this day and age? Lord. These men want to be chased. They want flowers and candy mm -hmm. and shit. Yep. They're sassy. Oh. Hey. Sassy. Oh, sassy. No one that's, in the that's the best word. Sassy, they sassy. They want you to text them good morning, princess. And shit. Literally. No, literally. So literally. I, was, I, was like, I didn't have a conversation with this dude. It was like 2 p.m. I like mess with him. We like do the do and all that. I said, Hey, can you get my nails done for me today with a little smiley face? He gonna respond laughing emojis and said, Hi, you didn't say good morning. No. What? Is that not no. a greeting? And it's too very simpy, in my opinion. That's very simpy type. Yeah. So he, he's, 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 that's a red flag. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, so really. it's funny uh, how Rose said five. that. I was with my fault. Say, it's funny how Rose said this, right? Because someone in the last episode <laughs> said that men are like act more feminine in this day and age than women. They are mm -hmm. a thousand percent. A, thousand percent. a million. <laughs> yeah. Damn. A fucking bug just bit me. Oh my god. You good? I think yeah, I saw it. I just needed to shut the live like it that. was that dude. It was that dude. He 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 was hearing you. Oh no. He <laughs> the black <laughs> Don't play. So why do you say dudes are acting more feminine? I mean we, we got the flower shits, right? Like they want flower, they want to basically be treated better. Well, I mean, for I my guess, I don't know what the deal I is, but why, why are they more feminine? Go ahead. Sorry. I literally no, had a guy right. recently. I literally had a guy recently, like, oh, he hit me up out of nowhere and was like, oh, I stopped talking to you because you don't text me enough. You don't what? call me. I'm like, but you don't call me or text me. Exactly. Like, what? <laughs> who's courting who here? That's so backwards. He's acting like he's the one that get it. Exactly. <laughs> like, no. Mm -hmm. The man I was seeing, I was seeing him for a couple months. 
He lived two hours from me, and he made me drive every single time to pick Hell him no. up because he was no. scared of did driving. He go, did he offer you gas money at least? Once, and it was like fifteen dollars. Uh, oh God! Yeah. How long were you driving? <laughs> Four hours, you said. It would be yeah, there and back, like every single day. Because if I didn't go, he would throw a fit. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I because would let him throw a fit. Because he was scared to drive, is what you said? Yeah, he drove to me once, and then after that, he cut me off because the drive was too much for him. He said, "How? He wasn't even driving." Yeah, he probably wasn't even driving. He's probably getting a, getting. He's probably riding shotgun with a homie or something. Yeah. What the fuck? So this is what women see in men in this day and age right now. Is yep. the fem feminine side of men right now. That it's, is it's scary. Yeah. Are we all single here? I'm single. Oh, okay. We're all single. But I do got a man. <laughs> like, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You're single, but you got a man. What do you mean by that? Uh, it's just an understanding. Is it a, is it it's, one of them? Is it a situation ship? I don't want it to be, so we're not gonna say that it is. Okay. I was about to say situation ships, I feel like don't exist. I feel like that's they just They don't exist. Like I don't I feel like that's like a nice way of saying friends with benefits. No, mm -hmm. that's not what we are. That's not what we are. I don't really know what it is at this point. I just know that we can't leave each other alone. So y'all are like best friends, pretty much. <laughs> like <laughs> It could be a bestie. I mean, like, right. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. So let me ask you this, right? Do you, do you see yourself dating this man? I want to, but Does he want it's to? summertime. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'll, I'll get my fall bay when I need them. I got you. Yeah, it's too so you nice. Still, so you still, you still want it? Huh? What's that noise? I don't know. <laughs> Cam. I think he's trying to talk. I don't know what's going on. He wants to chime in. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? The uh what the hell was I saying with that? Oh, right, right, right. So you wanna you wanna like kind of still have fun, like you still in your having fun type phase, right? I was. I just got out of a three-year relationship. Like I'm cool. Damn. I'm That's cool. the same way I feel. It was seven like, years. I was. I was nine years. Yeah, mine was seven years, and then I'm just been single for the last year and a half. And I'm same. Kinda, How did y'all get past the year? That's what I'm curious yeah, about. Me too. When I, like when you're just with somebody who just like literally takes your glow as a person. No, um, it's just like you're just terrified to let somebody else back in. Yeah, uh, yeah, no and it's like you don't like, even want to deal with it. Losing weight, you take your hair right? Like y'all, y'all started like yeah. I lost hair too. I lost hair yeah. for real. Yes, like my skin was bumpy. Like I just, I don't know. Looking back on me in a relationship towards the end of it, I just looked so unrecognizable. Like I just couldn't even. You lost I yourself. I didn't feel like myself. I agree. I wasn't myself. You lose yourself. So it was like it was like a bad change, basically. Yeah, like. I don't know. Dudes think just because, you know, men will be men that bitches is not going to get their lick back and they got <laughs> fucked up, but then they, you know, then they want to act like the ones that's depressed. How are you depressed and you put that D in a P? <laughs> I don't get it. So my thing is, right, like, we can, we can get on this all day type deal, but my thing is, is, like, with dudes, what do they need to do to be better <laughs> overall? In y'all's opinion, what do they need to do to be better? You said, what are they giving me? No, nah, what, what do guys I need to do the, to be better? I think the main thing is to learn your female. Know when I'm not in, like, when I need something to eat. Or I'm not in a good mood or I had a bad day at work and, I, and, I, and, you, see me, and you can recognize that because you know me. Right. Like, learn, learn the person that you court the person. Learn the person, like... That's I feel like is one of the biggest things. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Female honestly don't need. It's not about the money. Just know me, <laughs> learn me. Yeah. I got you. I can't even talk. I Cam, you able to hear us? Cam, I guess not. Um, 
I heard, I heard that. I heard that. So you said a man needs to know the woman better. So they need to understand. You saying like they need to understand women better, like in general. Right. Yeah. Pretty much. I get that. That could be tough to do though, as a dude. I'm telling you, as a dude, like that could be pretty tough to do. You know what I'm saying? Like know all but, the. Um, I feel like this: them. if you want something <laughs> that much, you're gonna work for it. That's True. What it True. I feel like they don't want to apply pressure anymore. Exactly. They feel like they're sweating you if they give you too much attention. Yeah. And it's like, I'm busy. I'm a single mom. I work. If, 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 if I'm giving you my time and my attention, that means I like you. Mm. And, th and they, they be like throwing back cause they see all the social media and they think that I got like, you know, they think I'm, I'm like got 20,000 dudes in my inbox, which I do, but I don't reply back to unless I really, you know, but it's like they act insecure and then they don't want to they don't want to apply that pressure because they feel like you're talking to 20 dudes and i'm like i don't got time to talk to 20 dudes i got you so i have you, have you realize it, that if i'm giving you my attention it means something because i'm 20 Correct. dudes mm -hmm. i'm not paying them no mind exactly yeah. mm -hmm. i mean the fact that you got me here okay so so assuming assuming you guys are, are pretty like into instagram and stuff like that like you guys post pretty often right so when a dude let's say you post on your story right and the dude sends the heart eye emoji what does that tell you guys nothing that tells me nothing. That to come out of the and every story he's replying wait so why hold on why does that tell you nothing i mean okay <laughs> let me go back to what you just said what did you just say I just say you post. Oh, you post. No, her. You. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't they, not the apply, they, they, they don't apply the correct pressure because once they get your attention, they seem to fall off and they'd be like, why me? Why are you talking to me out of everybody? Mm -hmm. And then and then they start falling off and trying to, to, to go back and they act like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't know. It's like a game. It's a game. Right. But I, what I was getting at was like, let's say you post on your story, like it's of you or like a picture of you or a post you did, whatever, yeah. right? It's of you. Let's say the dude replies to your story and sends the hard eyes emoji. She, when I say, what does that tell you? MSD Brooks said nothing. What does that tell the rest of you guys when they send a hard eye emoji to your story? They're sending mm -hmm. a compliment. Yeah. A compliment. That's about okay. it. That, that, sure. that's so it. is that telling you guys like they're interested in you or just no? Because you don't know how many know. people are they sending no. that to? Because the dudes that marry that do that shit, and they do it to your story too. Because they don't mm -hmm. do it in your like, so it doesn't pop up, so the girl don't see it. Mm -hmm. They do exactly. it to your story. Yeah, yeah. That's why it means oh, nothing. Shit. You it gotta mean apply a little more pressure than just the hard emoji. All right, so Allison, Allison, what do what do dudes need to do to make make it known that they're interested? I mean, I feel like, and for me specifically, things are in a two way street. Like they don't know how to communicate. The minute I like call them out on anything, they like to cry and play the "I'm crazy" card. When it's just like, no, like just fix what you're doing wrong and like listen. They don't like to listen. I'm older yeah. than y'all, and what I've learned in my in my lifetime, I got a little bit of knowledge. They like crazy. They like to see least, a woman go crazy eight. on them. Yeah. At least us us Latinos like. Crazy. I ain't going crazy on nobody no more. Yeah. Nope. Us us Latinos like crazy, but that's because we grew up with crazy, so it's like it's inevitable, you know. I can't speak on other people though. I know, <laughs> but they like to see you go crazy in the mm -hmm. beginning, and it's like you ain't even. Yeah. We like, okay, so I'm going to tell you this. We like to see the right amount of crazy to know, like, you're going to stand up for your man, but at the same time, like, you well, know. That's what different. You're if you're in a relationship, that's different, but yeah. you, you, you can't even get to that bad thing. Like, I can't it's like, very bad here. Cam, can you hear us? Y'all can hear y'all now. Hell yeah. Hey, happy to have you on. What's up? How y'all doing? I'm Cam. Good. Hey, yeah. hey, go ahead. Go ahead, introduce yourself, yo. I'm Cam. Uh, I'm from Mississippi. I'm in the Army. Okay. Hey, Getting I'm those benefits. 20, Getting those benefits. Love a man with benefits. That's right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, Cam, what do you think of this generation, yo? Our generation? I yeah. honestly feel like I feel like I should have been born in like 
late 80s. I feel like I should have been born like way before this generation. All right, why, why do you why do you say that? I agree with you, but why do you? It's say just that? like I don't vibe with I don't vibe with people my age, honestly. Like I I never have I never liked my class. I never liked. Okay, women now we're touching on that. How old is everybody? Like I want to know now because oh, I heard the late eighties and I'm like twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty. Stop saying you old. How old are you? I, I'm, I'm sure I'm the oldest one here. I'm 46. Okay, I'm 38, so I'm right behind you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm the big double two. You I got it, girl. Oh, you look I got children older than y'all. <laughs> you look amazing. So Thank you. Age ain't nothing but a number. It's Thank good. you. I'm trying to keep up. Yeah, yeah. You got this. Yeah, can can Why do you why do you say it like you, think that you don't get along with this generation? Like, what makes you think you know? Like I'm not saying um I ain't saying like I've never done like you know childish things before. Yeah. But you know I feel like I grew up a lot faster than people my age. I I'm got not you. Saying, like you know I'm more mature than them. Well, most of them, a lot of my am, but I really feel like so, I had to grow up a lot faster than them. So backstory, right? Me and Cam went through army training together and okay. basic and basic and AIT. So. When you was in basic and AIT, like, did you kind of see like the difference between generations during that time? Or I did, cause we were with we were with a lot of different age groups. Yeah. So once we once we like you know got to feel everybody out and see how how they operated, we could tell like the older ones from the younger ones. And we also we went to basic with a lot of like people who were in between eleventh and twelfth grade. Yeah. So we could kind of feel them out like in the beginning of basic. Yeah, that's true. Well, Not the men really. in my that men in my age range, it, it's fucked it's it's fucked up for us like that are older because the men in our age range are already like burnout, scarred, traumatized <laughs> from, oh. from other women, so they don't trust you at all. You could be a you could be the best woman in the world, but because they've been scarred already and they washed up. <laughs> um you said I could be explicit, right? Because I'm explicit. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, though. It's funny. And then the young dudes, y'all haven't had a family yet. I'm already done having a family. So the thing is, is like, I'm kind of screwed in this. See, in this the moment. thing is, most of us, most of us want to get to that point where we have a family, you know, in a nice, yeah. nice little settle down <laughs> area for ourselves. But this generation, it really does make it hard. Like, like a, lot of y'all, like a lot of y'all have said this da- dating in this generation just isn't it you know what i'm saying no one knows how to do it properly no one knows how to actually have a relationship no one knows what they're doing so that's what this generation is doing these girls out here are trapping these boys why, why, the girls, them. why are the females tripping Trapping, trapping with the baby. Trapping? Oh, I thought you said tripping. <laughs> oh, they trapping. Okay. Oh, they trapping dudes with babies. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why I left my ex. Some girl trapped him. Cam, Cam, what, what do you think? Because we heard a lot about men in this podcast. What do you think of the women in this generation? No woman slanders allowed. Well, so I can say from like my experience, um. I can say like right now in this point in time for me, I don't like crazy women. <laughs> like I don't deal, I don't deal with a lot of crazy say. women. Like I don't, I don't, I think I don't got to the point to where it's just like, yeah, I don't be want to deal with all that drama no more. I think for me, I just done deal with a lot of too many crazy women. I feel like, cause that's all like that's all I like grew up with around. Even my mom, like my moms and like her sisters and stuff, they crazy. Like I just see it all the time. Yeah, you scarred from birth. <laughs> right. Like I, I've been seeing it since I was little. And at first I liked it. Like I I I liked it. Like God's gonna tell you, like when we was going through <laughs> training and stuff, I love it. He was right there with me. <laughs> yeah, we I love that, but I think I just done got to the point to where it's like it got old. Yeah, you don't want to deal with it no more. You you get to a point where it's like, you know what? Like I want better. Like this is yeah, not like, it. Yeah. I'm trying to sit down. Like actually, I got you. Have a so, family. You know? So do the, do the rest of you guys? Do you guys agree with that? 
like the way, like women are a little more crazy in this generation towards men. For the most not part, really, not. not really, unless they're like driven crazy, like yeah, I have been. Exactly, like what are you doing? You know. So do you think like a past relationship probably drove them to be crazy for future relationships? Like how does that work? I mean, me personally, I get crazy the like in my pa in my past relationships, I'd be more crazy over somebody who was laying the pipe down pretty good and. <laughs> You know, that should have drive you crazy. Like, bitch, you better behave, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> but um you gotta really you gotta really do some some things to make the girl crazy. Unless yeah. you can say in that generation they're just crazy, period. I don't know. Right. It's so a lot we heard, of social we heard. media influence now. And right, right. Had all that. I'm gonna get into that. So, like, because we heard a little bit about the social media part and how that impacts yeah. it, right? But yeah. how how do y'all think social media kind of plays a part in this generation? How they are and stuff like that? Because they feel like there's a lot more options than just you. Okay, Cam. What about you? I feel like social media is like, for for the most part, I feel like it's everybody's like main thing. Like, you know, it's just so much going on and everybody got so many options out there. Like you meet, I'm, I've meet, I've met a lot of people just through, you know, like Instagram and Facebook without yeah. meeting them in person. Yeah. Like, I feel like, you know, I don't, I don't really like that, honestly. Okay. Allison, what about you? I would say the same. I feel like social media, you can kind of just like see all the other options out there and then you compare it to like what you already do have. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, social media communication wise, I guess it's, it's gotten a lot better. Yeah. But like on a person to person type social type game, I feel like social media kind of impacted that. Like people don't talk much in person. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way people talk, be in communication with people. Right. Like if I meet a dude out in public, I, I give them my social media. You got to You got to You got to make it to the next level of my of my cell phone. Mm. Mm. You gotta see if you work. So they gotta work for they, they gotta work for yeah. the next thing do. Okay. And I wanna see, I wanna because if they don't have social media, I start getting suspicious. Why? You got mar you married, you got a wife, you got a girl. No, do you kill people? Because yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, what if, what if they just an individual that somebody through their social media and if they got a whole bunch of girls that they following on there, I don't like that shit either. <laughs> what if they're content? Like the name the K's, like, the hey, what if they're what if they're a content creator like me and they just have guests? That's that different. That's different. They be the brokest ones. They be the That's brokest. Different. You said they be the what? Content, them content creators be the brokest. Like I'm not, I'm not even gonna fraud with it. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm broke. I didn't put them. Them. They don't have shit. Like everything they. <laughs> Bro, that fly is back to bite. I'm here to tell you that I'm pretty broke. I'm not going to tell you that I'm rich. I'm going to tell you but that I'm pretty broke. No. Like, everything he would get would be, like, sent to him. Like, you know, like, brand ambassadors and shit like that. Like, even if it's not oh. yours, he don't have oh. his own money. It's just shit. Okay, I understand what she's saying. So, yeah. on TikTok, I'm very big on TikTok, y'all. TikTok, <laughs> let me tell you, I've had, a, I've had a lot of dudes on TikTok that are big, 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 big. They out there, they got a bunch of girls sending them money on TikTok. Yeah. They out there like panhandling. I, this is different. He's a podcaster. Like, he's not doing that. These guys be sitting there flirting with, with tons of girls that are, like, lonely and desperate and don't have... Not to, even know, the lonely, desperate... If they're not gonna no man money, I don't I don't I don't choose guests based on that. I choose like who comes on here based off if I feel like they're chilling and if you're down to talk, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So with all of y'all being on here on this podcast today, I felt like you know, y'all are chill and chill enough to talk about these topics. I appreciate yeah. it, Gonzo. You got you got yeah. some lady over here with the, with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I pick my guests a little bit differently than what others would pick their guests. No, so but they're not doing they're podcasts. Doing. They just, they just, they just looking for girls to send them money and cash app and shit. And I'm like, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm letting y'all know that I don't need y'all to send me money. Don't. Do I had a dude on TikTok. 
hit me up and ask me for fucking money because he's a single dad. I said, bitch, I'm a single mom. What the fuck? At least he tried. <laughs> I'm not a word, but at least he tried. You know? They think because I'm older, I'm a sugar mama. You got me fucked up. <laughs> Hey, so some young dudes want to be taken care of, you know? Like you said Amy. before, the feminine shit. The feminine Amy. side. Yeah, they're bad bitches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a good... Cam, do you feel like a lot of the men in this generation are feminine? Yeah, I have... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen a lot to where um a lot of men want to be like... um What's called? House, house, house husbands? I've seen mm. a lot of that, like, you know, since I've been growing up. What do you guys think of that? Like that? So, you know, I always thought that was, like, gay. What do y'all think of that? Like, men, like, switching roles, men being, like, the house people. I'm going to tell you, I've been doing it all. I've been doing it all my life. I don't mind it. If you cook clean, I'm good with it. I work. You take okay. care of the kids. We save them. They <laughs> money. Okay. And then, and then a dude hustles. He making little money off the books. We good. Yeah, I got you. I know one dude, he actually he makes a TikTok about it. He's working still, even if he outside. Dude. Wait, hold on. He makes a TikTok about him being a house husband? Yes. Like, he like shows what he cooks for his wife and kids every day. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong yeah. with that. I don't I think nothing wrong it. with that. I'm, you, I'm looking for a house husband myself. I'm going to say, would y'all females want a house husband? That means you want to take care of him. No, 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 no. They hustle. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm going to say, that's not... Saya and Allison, would y'all want a house husband or would y'all prefer them to work? That was what my um, kids were little though. They were my kids' fathers. All my exes like didn't work. Like I took care of everything. I, I don't want to do that again, but like it's I like don't want to be a housewife either. Yeah. So you wasn't with it. Ellison wasn't with it. She was like, fuck that. I'm done with it. <laughs> it wasn't horrible, but like I would like I feel like we're both working and be more beneficial than like just me taking care of him. True. Zaya, what about you? Oh, I need to be taken care of. Okay. okay. That's that's you said, what you I need, need. you said you need to get taken care of? Yes, but honestly, <laughs> I have been a victim of taking care of a man three times. How, how was it? <laughs> how was it? Oh my god. Uh this year, Valentine's Day, I spent like twelve hundred dollars. What did I get back? Nothing, and it was like oh, what? years. Wait, twelve hundred on what? Hotel room and shit. Damn, I and had was, a Mary, and, and he was just staying there. That's it. He didn't give you nothing. Yeah, he didn't yes, give nothing. He didn't bring he didn't me nothing. nothing. Like he didn't get me anything. He said the whole next week would be about me. Then he gets four dollars worth of tickets on my car after that. He's so playing then games. Valentine's Day was <laughs> postponed to fucking March. Then I was done with his ass, and then I came back around expecting stuff, and I didn't get nothing ever. You're not with them anymore. You're not, you're, not, you're not with them anymore, right? Hell no. Good, 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 good. Because he was definitely trying to play your ass. Yo, he did. He did. He did. He got over on a bit. But it's okay. 1, is wild. And you know what's, what's crazy is, like, I feel like a woman that's willing to spend that amount of money on a dude definitely deserves a dude for sure like deserves to have a guy in their life because there's not a lot of females that would spend that much money on a guy but like, you deserve a good dude though right right that's I crazy deserve. but majority of women aren't spending that nowhere near that much money on guys so you need to get a good good dude in your life for sure i don't know my friends be tricking so it's like that's just what we do. We just we we our love language. And, so, if you're you know, not we, my man and the father of my kids, I ain't doing shit. For oh no, me. that's what I mean. Just for yeah. my man. But it's, no, yeah, I yeah. I don't say for for y'all females, right? Damn, what was the question? It was would y'all listen to your friends if they say a dude is is right for you for that for you? I value my friends' opinions. You value they their know opinions. me. Okay. Yeah, they know me. So the rest of y'all, you guys would go with your friends? If they said a dude was right for me? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It don't matter. I mean, it don't mean I'm, I might give them a chance. So y'all say yeah. Cam says no. Cam, why do you say no? Um, I, I, have good, the I have really good friends. I just don't trust their judgment when it comes to stuff like that. 
I'm with, I'm, I'm with you on that. But um, MSD, the, uh, the question was, do you trust your friends in finding the right one for you? No. I like saying that they're right. No. I don't care what they feel. Okay. It depends. I'm like split half and half. Like, I'm going to be honest. There's a lot of situations where you don't even know if that friend really has the right, in, like, you know. The right yeah. Sometimes you got to test like, the yeah. theories with these holes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like. So I'm funny, yo. She's funny as hell. I fuck with her. Anyway. I, mean, um, I fuck with a lot of females because of that. They will be your friend and behind your back really not like you. Yeah. Not right. Like yeah. right. That's fine. Literally, That's fine. Are, so the one are any of you guys spiritual? Yes. Okay. I don't know if I I'm count I'm spiritual in the way of like, you know, Christianity, like God, like I call on the mm -hmm. angels, the ancestors and shit like that. So it was this one particular time I kind of just, I just didn't feel right. So I just asked God, I said, remove anybody from my life who is not meant to be here. I like, I literally lost nine friends the next day in situations that were so little turned huge. And I said, reveal to me, like who the fuck is real and who's not. Mm. In a whole group, whole group of people. And it's just so like, I, I can tell these girls my business. Next thing you know, my mm. business is out there, but it's like, I tested the theory. I'm like, I'm going to tell them all one specific thing. And if it gets out there, I know who it was. And yeah. it, that happened with all of them, every right. single last one of them. So is it true that like like friend like female friends can be more fake than guy right, friends? Right. Yes. Yeah. If the dude like, yeah. it, they all say yeah fake. so quick. Wait, so what makes the, what makes them so fake? Like a lot more fake. It's tendencies, to be honest. Like it's not specific things <laughs> that I feel like anybody like can this. put in with these girls. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it'd be the secret animosity. That like, mm -hmm. secret animosity yeah. is the biggest thing. They always is like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, or like, I can't deal with girls that are nigga motivated. Like if you don't have your own goals and aspirations or you mm -hmm. don't want to be shit for yourself and you just thinking about what man you could be with next, I can't fuck with you. Cause it's just like, you could fight me because you want this man or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right. Mm. Cam, Cam, what you got to say about that? I feel like, um. For men, I feel like it's we don't get that many friends in our lifetime. So I feel like the ones that we do get, we hold on to them. I feel like it's a lot easier for us to get friends and a lot harder for us to lose them. Okay. I feel I like my friends. I feel like it's when easy to child. get friends and easy to lose them. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I, personally. Men, men is different. Men will stick together more than females would. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's so much women against women, like. Mm -hmm. Why are you telling I people like, her pussy stink? And I feel like majority, majority. Why is she her panties and it like now her panties oh. is green. Why did you tell Shorty to go get that checked out while y'all was friends, but now it's on Instagram? I right. feel like majority, majority of high opportunity. School, I feel like majority of high school and possibly college too. Two female friends would fight over a dude before two dude females would fight over, or two dudes dude would fight females, over. Females, yeah, you're right. Because yeah. most of the time, guys would be like, all right, fuck it, you hit it too? <laughs> that shit was good, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Females ain't like that. They was like, the dick was so good. Oh, my God. This bitch had awesome. it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like female friendships of these days are like very competitive. It's all like... They don't want to see like their friends do good. It's kind of like a... I don't know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty sad. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So what about younger friends? Because friends in my age range are competitive. Younger girls are not competitive with me. We're in two totally different leagues. We all know that. We're into, right. we're, I'm going after different dudes. I'm not going after the same dudes. Mm -hmm. So it works out better. You know what I mean? Right. So so I, what was I say? as a female, right? I forgot what the fuck question was. Well, I had it too. Damn, that was a good question. Um, what was I gonna say? As a female, right? Would you trust like you? So you guys trust your guy friends more often than your female friends? Is what I'm getting. At. But I'm. I don't know. I don't be trusting guy friends either. Cause it's like sometimes I have no. one. I have two guy friends that probably never wanted to fuck me ever. Right. But the, all the others, they be having secret agendas. I don't think because I feel like most guy friends secretly want to fuck their That's true. Yeah, right. friend. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Correct. Just don't trust nobody. 
That's and it. close them legs. <laughs> you said fuck friends. <laughs> MSD Brooks funny. Why you say fuck friends? Like why why you say don't trust nobody? Because like like we said about the females and the same thing we said about the men. It's the same thing. Like I literally spend most of my time by myself. Right. I don't fuck with many people. I got a daughter. My daughter is one about to be twenty two. That's my best friend. Oh that's I can't you work need. for that one. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the club together, we hang out together, like that's my ride or die. Everything else, you just you an associate. Let's, all right, let's let's get in on this one right here. Do you guys feel like the music in today's day and age influences people in this generation? Yeah, now I feel like I need a fucking BBL. <laughs> <laughs> like I need to add fat to get them rags, whatever they be talking about. <laughs> It's like wild. <laughs> yeah. That goes back to saying the whole thing about social media. Like jelly. Like, it's the same thing about social media. If even though BBL's always been a thing, it's just we really, really <laughs> seen it on social media that because I got a BBL. I did. Yeah, I got one. Word. Last day. <laughs> Word. So, I, before that, I was on some. Before social media was like crazy. A couple like years, years back, I was like, "Fuck with my body? Who? Not me." <laughs> But then I'm like, oh, this bitch body look all right. Hold on, let me go to the doctor. Cause I got you. So, so like, artists, like that. So, like, artists like Sexy Red. Do you guys fuck with Sexy Red or no? I like Sexy Red. I think she's real as fuck. She a real bitch. <laughs> That's why yeah. I like her because she got an I don't give a fuck attitude. That's right. I, got I like you. her. Yeah. She's real as fuck. I got you. Now, I'm not gonna lie. She she definitely real as fuck. But get it sexy. Sorry. I just I don't know. Like as I feel like real music, yo, like I like real like, like she's up there she with talks, real real music. I kind of feel talk like about like how she shits and like her her she's bleeding on dudes. Like I'm like that's, that's real. Wild. I mean it's natural. That's real as fuck. <laughs> I mean that's the same with Suki Hana. Like I fuck with Suki because Suki she's so chill. Like they in the same caliber of bitches. Right. If I'm gonna go with song artist though, I, I fuck with um Lotto. Lotto's oh, yeah, Lotto. my favorite. Lotto, Lotto, have you ever see this? I love Big you. Lotto. <laughs> but Lotto is real music on top of just anything else. A lot of those other females they came big because they don't give a fuck. And in this world yeah. today, that's something that you have to do. Like I'm gonna be honest, when I started getting big on social media was when I stopped giving a fuck. Like my mm -hmm. daughter's grown, you can't tell me nothing. Right. Exactly. So you guys, you guys have daughters, I'm assuming, right? I have a daughter. Yeah. yeah. I got, okay. I got two daughters. So how, how, how do they, how do they feel about you guys being big on social media? My daughter hates it. She's 27. <laughs> Why does she hate it? Cause she got a man and she can't be on social media with me or going out with me. So she fucking on some like. <laughs> Damn, that's like that's your yeah. daughter, and she like. Yeah. Yeah. She want to see me with, with, with no brawn and baking cookies and shit. And uh, no, mama not doing that. Sorry. My, my mama, daughter, yes. baby. What were you my saying? My daughter be like, oh, you got a host in at a club? Ha, <laughs> ma, we out. <laughs> and I, <laughs> she she don't care. I, know, I wish I had that, but my daughter's not like that. And then I got four boys after that. And then I have a little daughter. She's seven, so. I got you. I got you. So I'm my oldest daughter, no. So with, with you guys being big on social media, would you guys want your kids to be big on social media as well? Or would you want them to find a different path? I want them to do whatever makes them happy. Okay. Right. 100%. I be telling my daughter it's a little easy money. You feel me? <laughs> but my daughter, she's not like me. I'm out there. Like, yeah. I, I, I have a I don't give a fuck attitude. My yeah. daughter is a little more conservative. So my daughter's conservative like, too. Ma, She's you quiet. get big and I'm gonna be behind yeah. you. So, Whatever you get, I'm gonna reap the benefits. So yes. obviously, obviously not saying and not wishing this upon anybody, and not saying it's gonna happen, right? But there's a question I had to ask because people wanted me to ask this one, right? With OnlyFans being on a big thing still, how would you guys feel about a kid of you a kid of yours doing OnlyFans? I wouldn't do it because of my children. I um, have only fans. Miss D. Wait, wait. Do I? But I got little do it, still. or is it about me? If, if your kid, like, how would you guys feel about your son or daughter doing OnlyFans? 
I mean, I whatever makes them right, happy. I, would rather I don't care. If I have a son, he do only fans. But like my daughter, you're cool. You know what I'm saying? Say it real, yo. Say it real. Why, why would you rather? I was like, yeah, that's my fucking son. So why would you rather the son and not the daughter do OnlyFans? I don't know, because I kind of feel like a lot of men fuck to get to where they are in their life. Like, mm -hmm. them big them big ones, they, they be fucking to get there. Especially in, like, in the industry, like, music industry, yeah. modeling, like, you know, those yeah. type things. Shit, even in the White House, they probably fucking to get to the Senate seat. <laughs> Like, <laughs> they're using that dick of theirs. So, like, as a female, I honestly just lost where I was going. What was he talking about? If, or why you'd rather your son do OnlyFans than your daughter. Oh, yeah. Because I kind of feel like, you know, women, they're going to they gonna fuck with it. But, like, a man, they, they gonna, they're going to fuck with it for, like, the money or whatever she's doing OnlyFans. But... In the real world, like in the real, real world, they're probably not gonna want my daughter, but they still wanna fuck with my son if you if you get me. Like, I don't want her to like be depressed or something, cause that comes from that sometimes. Cause you know, all the backlash people get or being exposed, even with OnlyFans, you know, people do extra stuff to yeah. embarrass people. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel like it's harder on a girl. Okay, with I got you. being in that, like, do the rest of y'all agree with that? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, if you're a dude get meat not big, then that's embarrassing. <laughs> if you blessed, you're cool. I wouldn't have a problem reason. with my daughter doing it because, like I said, my daughter knows her limits. She's very aware. She's We grew up together. I had my daughter when I was 15. So, like, she's good. Yeah. If she wanted to do it, I wouldn't be opposed to her doing this it. Um, yeah, that's, 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 because in this day and age that we in, everything is fucking expensive. You got to have some type yeah, of other income. Girl. And if it's only fans that you choose to go to, baby girl. Especially in Miami. Miami's the only thing that stopped me from only fans in that ad. I would suck it to damn. I ain't gonna lie. I would not want my daughter doing but that. But I'm trying to be a plastic surgeon. And I'm so, like, wait, I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. Would you say you wouldn't want your daughter doing that? I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. No, no. My father passed away. When my father passed away, honestly, that's when I was like, I don't give a fuck about nothing at this point. Huh. You know what I mean? And so I could understand that because as a daughter that was raised by my father, a single father, and I was like this with my dad. I didn't do nothing. Like when I was a couple years back before my dad passed, like when Pinky was hot. I had red hair. She asked me to do some shit with her, and I declined it because my dad watched porn from time to time. Oh, I'm not going to do that, and he sees <laughs> it. So, damn, so <laughs> I the day. Salute. When you got a good hold on, hold on, hold on. Cam, Cam, what about you? Would you want your daughter doing that type of stuff? Because I would. So, I have a daughter, and yeah. I'm going to honestly say no, because I just feel like. Um, no disrespect to nobody to actually do it, you know what I'm saying? But I just, uh, I would, wouldn't really want her to have her body out there like that. You know, it's just, that's just me though. I don't really think I would that's want father's to gonna have say that. Right. Yeah, that's why I say no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I ain't even. I'm I thank God OnlyFans ain't come out but, after my dad was gone. I'm gonna be honest. That's right. Hey, that's right. Like, you know, she, Ava, Miss Z, salute Pinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's, that's, I think I don't more, even know who Pinky is. That's oh, why I'm more. Yeah. That's why I'm more sided with what Science said. Like I feel like. <laughs> Wait, like what? I don't mean to sound like any type of way. I said I, I'm more on your side, Sia. I'm more on your hey. side. So my thing is, is. I wouldn't mind if my son did it, but if my daughter did it, it would be different. And I feel like that's just because, like, naturally, a, a father is supposed to be closer to their daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You're gonna have that that son cool. He's gonna you're gonna raise him how you want to be raised, whatever. But that daughter is something different. And every dude will tell you that has a daughter. It hits different when you have a daughter. So. Yeah, it, absolutely. You know. it, it does. So my thing is, is I feel like I'd be more comfortable with my son doing it than 
not my daughter. So that's why I side with Sire. But now, if both of them came to you at the same time and say, yo, I want to get OnlyFans, you can't say yeah to him. That's cool. I can only, you know to her. The thing is, the thing is I can only say no. Know. Both times. I could only say no for so long until they're on their own and they doing their own thing. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like as a parent, you can only restrict things for so long until things are just gonna happen. You know. But would I be comfortable with it? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't you know? want me. You said what, Cam? No, I was talking to my brother. Oh, okay. Oh, we thought she was at the drive through ordering some food. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> nah. Damn. But yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. I've never really been big with the whole OnlyFans thing. I've never really like gone in depth or wanted to know more about it. I just knew like it's a way for people to make money for doing weird shit. That's and I'm gonna be honest. I showed my mom my OnlyFans, and she was like, "Well, your stuff is really tasteful, so <laughs> I don't feel no type of way." Like I'm not doing no fancy shit. Yeah, you're I'm not, not gaping it open. Okay. I mean, yeah, like, I'm not doing all that. I'm I'm very tasteful on my own. <laughs> I mean, like, there's dudes that are into like weird shit, like feet and stuff like that. Yeah. So, Diamonds like, in the booty oh. hole, like all that. Yo, that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, diamonds in the booty hole is crazy. What yes. are you doing? <laughs> They'd be like, it's breathing. Nah, Sai, where you get that from? Diamonds in the booty hole. What the fuck? Listen, I got some <laughs> TikTok clout, all right? They come in with the weirdest shit. Like, this guy sent me a video of him beating his knee on an iPad to my face. <laughs> on the iPad, it's crazy. Yeah, and skied it on the on the damn iPad. See now, if you had OnlyFans, you could charge. He a real them. street. He a real street. Like, you gotta pay for that. You gotta see it on your phone. You pay for that. If he was an iPad, he 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 street for show. That man's oh, trashy, yeah. bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That man's they, iPad always, heavy. they always ask me to do OnlyFans and stuff like that, but I just kind of feel like. Mm -hmm. Why do they ask females to do only like I get it like it's a good way for y'all to make money, but it's like why do they why do people ask y'all to do it? Like why do they want y'all to do it so bad? Because they, they know they not, they have no other, gonna get, yeah. no other way. You know the what I'm only saying? way you're gonna get a chance with me is through my OnlyFans. And that's what's crazy yeah. is men are willing to spend that money. Yeah, they are to get content from y'all. Like literally absolutely. this guy declined me because my feet wasn't dirty enough for him. <laughs> He was like 500 for black feet. My feet was black. He's like, oh, they're not dirty enough. What? I needed the whole foot, not just the, you know, the outline that get dirty first, right? No, he wanted a full black foot. What the fuck? Wait, so he wanted you to go run around in dirt barefoot? Yes, so I kind of did that, <laughs> but I didn't like the way it felt, and I stepped on some glass. Fuck. Yo, dude, that's some weirdo shit. Yeah. That just wasn't. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all I go run in a field for five hundred dollars? I would have did the same shit. Right, right. right. That's, yeah. that's, that's a steal so for y'all. I stepped on glass. Yeah, you cut your foot. They told me one fifty, but I didn't get the five hundred. He wanted when I say a whole black foot, I mean the top part, the bottom part. The fucking ankles, like he wouldn't. <laughs> How do y'all? Okay, that's my thing. How do y'all feel about feet? Because me personally, yeah. I feel like that's a weird kink fetish to have. But uh, I'm not a big person. That's a weird fetish for guys to have. Why the fuck? I don't think it's weird, but I get why. I like my feet sucked. I don't give a fuck about feet. I like, put the whole foot in the mouth. <laughs> And I find it weird when dudes want want, <laughs> yeah. want like my feet. I'm like, it's weird. I love it. I just love it. I, I, mean, like, I like how honest how honest Saya is, bro. <laughs> like this shit is funny as fuck. She said whole foot in the mouth, yo. Whole foot, like really. Yeah, I like. I like why? Dudes. Good dudes don't like feet like no. that. Um, That's what I'm saying. Though. Like, why do you? Why, why do you mess with? They love the feet. Why? Why do you want your feet sucked though? It feel good. It feels <laughs> and it makes you feel powerful. I'm gonna be honest. It gets oh my god! Like, but especially like when I had a white boyfriend, it's like, oh my god, my ancestors—they're fucking <laughs> <laughs> like crazy. Allison, what do you, you feel about it? Um, I mean, I don't think 
Mm. I'm like kind of weird with it. Like I've had men ask me to like finish them off like with my feet, and I just feel like it's like I don't know. I mean, I'm not like opposed, but I'm, I wouldn't like shoot. Like I don't know. I wouldn't. Shoot so I'm gonna type, I'm gonna type a dude like if you got your pedicure done, I'd be like, okay, they look nice. They look cute. But I'm not going to grab them and put them in my mouth. You know what I'm Why saying? Why not? not You're not doing nothing. You see? What you, you mean I'm not problem. doing nothing? I'm, on, I'm on the body, bro. Like, I'm all over that one. In your situationships, relationships? <laughs> yes. Yes, because you're not sucking toes. I don't need to suck toes if I'm working the whole body. That's my point. That is the base of a human. All right? <laughs> Spiritually, that is so deep. Like, the root of you is supposed to be what appreciated. Uh, hey, what, look, what is it? What is it with like you bow to the king type shit? What, what's that called? Hey, look, I'm yeah, gonna say this. The queen, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of interesting weird guys out there. They'll be more than happy to suck your toes for you. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna be real. I'm not. I'm not a foot dude. You know? okay. Yeah, nah, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying, but there's plenty, like I said, there's plenty of crazy dudes that would be willing to do that for you. I don't think they're crazy, I think they're just right. <laughs> Me and Sai gonna be homies after this, bro. Yes. This I thought we did with be homies, like what? <laughs> this is funny as fuck, but we're about at the end of this podcast episode. But before we end this off, I don't know if you guys saw, I did a question thing on my Instagram story of, of mm-hmm. those asking questions. Now I picked them random. So if some of them are weird, oh, I apologize Lord. in advance. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They're asking whatever at this point. Here's the first one. Saya, do you only date men taller than six foot? Now I do. Now you do. What about like never mind? Uh next question. <laughs> next question. Missy, how often do you get flirted with? Who's Missy? I'm back. There was no Missy. We're gonna go on to the next question. God damn. Allison, if I looked like Gonzo or Cam, would I have a shot at the well? <laughs> yeah. Who are probably. You? Yeah. So whoever asked that, probably if you look like me or Cam, you probably have a shot. I don't know. They'll probably add you on Instagram later. I don't. I don't fucking know how that works. <laughs> <sighs> Third question. MSD Brooks, do you like guys with tats? Yes, love it. That was the question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said yeah, like they're they're the go-to, like number one. Yeah, I love tattoos. Okay. It's I have a lot, so I love them. Got you. Allison and Jay, between you two, who can act out this? I don't know if y'all saw the emoji. You gotta act out the emoji? It says, says, Allison and Jay, between you two, who can act out this emoji the best? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Who can it? What the fuck? It's just a. I don't even know what the fuck that emoji means, bro. That mean you being sneaky. Cam, who would you shoot your shot at? All of them. All of them beautiful. Aw, <laughs> thank you, Cam. Aw. You said all. You said all of them. Yep, everybody beautiful. But if you had to pick thank one. Thank you. Huh? If you had to pick one. Rose. Oh, <laughs> thank you. He has a thing for Puerto Ricans, by the way. I'm actually not Puerto Rican. Where, where, where what are you? Real? I'm Italian. Yes! yes, I can see it. I can see it. That's why I'm facing there right now. <laughs> I'm Italian. Hey. I grew up. I grew up in the Bronx, so it's like. A, oh, I'm me like, too. I'm a Bronx baby. Me too. <laughs> This was a Yeah, so the Bronx, you just like you got that Puerto Rican in you regardless. Yeah, I get I argued with all the time. I'm like, bro, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, después lo siento que, que 
en mi lengua, lo siento. Wey. No, 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 I'm sorry. Chingala, <laughs> pues, güey. Anyway, um, this was a fun episode. I appreciate y'all for coming on. This was a packed episode, so I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? And y'all, y'all go ahead. Shout out your social medias. We're gonna start with Saya. Y'all see my Saya official. Um, you know, comment, subscribe to my YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. That's the homie right there. All right, Allison, go ahead. Shout out your social media. Um, it's Allison Olivia with three A's at the end. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, everything. Hell yeah. And then you guys, go ahead. Um, MSD Brooks, well, shout out. Instagram is Miss D Brooks. I mean, you can find me on everything. Only fans, everything. Only <laughs> Miss D Brooks is all there. That's it. Hey. That's if I subscribe, there. can it be free? Some of them probably. <laughs> some of them are, my subscription money. is free. But you oh, gotta pay for other shit. Look, so some, some of them are probably <laughs> some of them are probably gonna go on OnlyFans and do some requests for you. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> bet. I'll be there. <laughs> Rose, go ahead. Um, I'm on uh, TikTok as jrose111. Same thing on um, Instagram. That's the only thing I got, y'all. I think I need to do me an OnlyFans, YouTube, all that shit. I need some money, baby. Cam, what you think? Should she do yeah. OnlyFans or no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be a well. <laughs> Get it, girl. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. My TikTok is actually speaking up, Saya. All right. There you go. And then my boy Cam, go ahead and shout out everything, yo. Yo, my IG vibes with Cam, hit me up. That's everything. I'm mean, TikTok and everything. Vibes with Cam. Hell yeah. Appreciate you guys can coming you, on um, and making this episode blessed. Gonzo, Thank how you. can we go in the group chat on IG so we can all follow each other? Because I want to follow right. everybody. Let's do it. Yeah, we're gonna yes, do that right like now. y'all are all so cool. Everybody, yes. hey, everybody, we gotta everybody. do this again. We gotta do this again. Oh, we're going I feel like everybody had a personality too, which I love. What I, I like is it Miami, didn't. Miami, girl. What I like is it didn't get heated either. Like no one went yeah. off on anybody, so that was a good. Thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's oh, you get the, You be having a lot of up in here. Ain't no need for yeah. that. Mm -hmm. you, you said what, Cam? You be having that a lot of your shows. Have, uh, when you, whenever I have multiple guests, like there's usually a couple people that argue over some shit. I feel, I feel like they're doing that for clout. I mean, that's, that's, what what I wanted to say. Yeah. that's why when I made that comment about the OnlyFans thing, I I, I said no disrespect. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, and no disrespect at all. Hell yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody in that group <laughs> chat, follow each other. We're going to make this shit happen again in a future episode. Yes, let's so, do it. Y'all go tap into the guests. Y'all go follow. 